What's up subscribers and subscribers to be? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe below and hit that notification bell, as well as the like button to receive more videos from this channel. I know I've been missing the action a little bit for the last week. Um, I've been back in Georgia doing videos for my other channel, The Lord of the Range. If you guys get a chance, go ahead and check that page out as well once you get done watching this video. If you look on the board, you'll see some stocks that I'm currently interested in. I'm going to kind of explain these stocks and why I'm interested in them um, a little bit later on in the video. But before I jump into that, I want to get into some news that's currently going on when it comes to the stock market and the economy altogether. Before I even get into that, if y'all see me doing any type of coughing or anything during the video, it's not due to any sickness or illness. It's because I have this um, OG Kush from Diego Pellicer. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, it's some real good stuff. So that might cause a little bit of um, bronchial irritations. So for starters, three days ago, um, the Fed decided to dump about $1.5 trillion into the market, being that the market kind of tanked due to the recent correction that's going on. My issue with this $1.5 trillion being pumped into the market is that it's basically fake money that's coming out of nowhere. What I mean by that is not saying that the money isn't real, even though it's technically not being that it's fiat money, is that this money that they're pumping into the economy causes the value of all the dollars that already exist to slightly decrease. <coughs> if we have the same amount of people, we all have cash and money is just dumped into the market via um, treasury bonds and loans. That's basically money that's created on debt or money that's just created out of thin air. Like I said, once again, that's diluting the amount of money causing our dollars to decrease in value. But things like this happen all the time, especially when you're dealing with a fiat company. So that's not the biggest thing for me. The biggest thing for me that's going on is that today, the Federal Reserve cut interest rates down to zero. This means that they're basically charging banks almost nothing to borrow money. One of the um, better effects of this is that loans from the banks are going to be cheaper. But some of the problems that are going to occur on the backside is that more than likely less people are going to be able to get loans and banks are also going to be giving up almost nothing to borrow money. Meaning that if you have a savings account, a CD or anything like that with the bank, you're probably going to be losing money. If you look at inflation on top of that, which is normally about a 2% loss each year, you're actually going to be losing 2% or more by keeping your money inside of banks. With interest rates going to zero, you're literally better off taking your cash and placing it in a vault at the bank versus putting it in a savings account currently because you're not getting any money for having it there. And banks have no reason to borrow from you when they can just go to the Federal Reserve and get a loan with a 0% interest rate. I mean, it kind of makes sense if you think about it. Banks really have no reason to pay you to save money with them. Normally, they use the money in savings accounts to give loans, but with the Fed loaning out money at a 0% interest rate, they have no reason to pay you any money to borrow your money. The main reason that this is significant to me is because typically when interest rates drop by a lot or they go to zero, there's typically a recession to follow. If you look at the chart on the screen, you'll see some gray bands. Each one of those gray bands is when a recession hit. And if you notice, this happened almost every time the interest rate had a significant drop or went to zero. Excuse the wrinkles, but I was getting a little hot with that pullover on. But with all this stuff in mind, um, I really don't feel comfortable having too much cash on hand right now. Of course, it's good to have it to invest with when things are going down as they currently are. But um, cash is really going down in value right now. And I see that increase in, in the near future and definitely if you're looking down the road. So with that being said, I'm currently looking to convert my money as always. And my first option right now is going to be stocks, being that they're taking a hit. Um, as I just stated, I do believe that some stocks are going to get lower. There is a possible recession that is coming. As you see, the interest rates are going to zero, as I just mentioned as well. But yeah, these are the stocks that I'm looking at. If you saw my video on the top stocks for March, um, I'm still looking at purchasing those stocks. But these stocks right here have really sparked my interest. Um, I wrote them down um, as I was just going through my list of stocks that I typically look at and I went back and numbered them in the order in which I kind of wanted to purchase them. 
I'm going to go through them in that order, and then I'm going to explain a few things about each of them. Okay, so the first is going to be Alibaba. Alibaba is currently at $193. Its PE ratio is sitting right around 20. Its 52-week high is 231. Its 52-week low is 147. I'm not going to go in too deep about what the company does. I've done videos on that in the past, and I would definitely like to invite you to do your research. But Alibaba is definitely a great company, and, and they've been um, seeing setbacks over the past year or so due to the trade war, um, certain um, illnesses overseas, as well as the current correction that's going on here in the United States. It's a stock that I believe is going to be doing absolutely great in the future, if I'm not mistaken. Their revenue is supposed to increase about 50% over the next year. So this is definitely the number one company that I'm buying. Once again, I would like to invite you guys to do your research, to go and check this company out. Um, great leadership, great goals for the future, great foundation, and a great team to execute. So yeah, definitely go and check them out. The second stock that I'm looking at is Berkshire Hathaway. Of course, owned by one of the geniuses in the market, Warren Buffett. Great company. It recently took a dip once again like the rest of them due to the current issues with the market. It has a PE of 5.3. You're looking at a company that's run by one of the best leadership teams in stock market history, and it has a PE of 5.3. So I'm definitely trying to get this one. That's why it's number two on my list. Number three is going to be Delta Airlines. Due to the current global issues that we're currently having, not too many people are booking flights. You're starting to see the rates for flights cut tremendously. The company currently has a PE of about five and a dividend yield of about 4.2%. Um, this is a great company. Um, the number one company when it comes to flying commercially. Uh, I don't see it going anywhere in the near future. So I'm definitely purchasing this company as well. Those are my top three. The next few I'm going to breeze through a little bit more quickly. Number four is going to be Cisco. They mostly deliver food for different restaurants and things of that nature. Um, just like I said, with the rest of the stock is due to the current issues that are going on with the market. It's currently down. It's a strong company. Definitely one that you should go research. It has a PE of 12. The average company should have a PE of about 15. I believe that this company is much better than the average company. So it's on my list to purchase. Number five is going to be Uber. Uber currently does not have a PE because they currently aren't profitable. They, um, their company isn't expected to be profitable until sometime in later 2020 or possibly 2021. But um, I do see this being a strong company. I take a lot of Uber rides myself. Outside of them being one of the main competitors here in the United States, they have a lot of businesses abroad. And they have a lot of other companies that are kind of drawing my attention, such as Uber Eats and Uber Freight. Um, just due to their sheer growth rate, the fact that they IPO last year at about $40, and now they're at about half that, that's my biggest reason that I'm now going at Uber. I definitely think people will invest in it. I want to be seeing a lot of profit sometime next year. Um, so I'm trying to jump in it heavily right now. Number six on my list is going to be Disney. Um, I'm buying them because due to the current global issues that we're having, they're um, currently shutting down a lot of facilities. A lot of their revenue is being cut back. So I believe their stock is going to drop a little bit more. As I said earlier, the average PE for a stock is, is 15. I do believe that Disney is better than the average company. I also think they're going to grow more faster than the average company. So I think this PE of 15 is kind of low for them. And I do see them dominating certain sectors of the market a lot more in the near future. So they're a buy for me as well. My seventh stock that I really want to jump into is Conagra. Outside of the current global issues that are going on, Conagra also took a dip in their revenue and their expected growth due to their sales slightly slowing. Um, Conagra sells certain frozen foods. Unlike most companies in their sector, such as Kraft Heinz, they have a lot of healthier alternatives. I myself personally use a lot of their products. Being that they recently took a dip in price prior to the current correction that's going on, and they're going down some more due to these global issues. I kind of see them as being a buy right now. And I do believe they're actually going to sell more than they expected, being that people are currently rushing into the markets to buy all kind of food, which includes their food. So this company also makes my list. If you noticed, I placed an asterisk beside a few of the companies. The reason being is those companies are currently at their five-year low. 
Delta, Disney, and Conagra are all at their five-year low. Uber IPO'd about a year ago, so they're their basically lowest point ever. So this is kind of another reason to kind of just want to dive into these stocks. They're basically at the lowest price that they've been in years. If I'm not mistaken, Delta may be at the lowest price that it's been since the Great Recession. Like I said, I do still have my top picks for this month, but these stocks I'm definitely also looking at. Many of them I will be buying if I have a little bit of extra money on the side. I'm definitely going to try to take advantage. I just want to give you guys a chance to see this. If the Fed's lowering rates and um, basically decreasing the value of money, as well as the current correction in the stock market scares you, there's still a few other options if you're looking to invest your money. In my opinion, the main two would be gold and real estate. When I say gold, for the most part, I'm talking about bullion, which is um, pure gold. You can purchase it from places like JM Bullion or AppMix if you're looking to shop online, or you can just go to your local corn store. If you're looking to get into real estate, I would really suggest renting. If you're looking at times where there's a possible recession or a recession going on, people still have to find a place to live. Many people still rent. Many people who were once living in homes, I hate to say it, end up becoming renters. So it is a good market um, during that time for people who do own real estate and they're renting. With that being said, as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys are taking advantage of the market. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button and notification bells so that you can get notifications when I release new videos. If you're new to stocks and you're looking for a way to invest, there's a link in the description for the Robinhood app. If you download the app using my link, you'll get one free stock for signing up. Think of it as my gift to you for watching the full video with us today. And as always, um, thanks again for watching and have a great day. How about the bag? Go get the money. Count that cat and back to the money. Put that on repeat. Go get the bag. Go get the bag. And now we coming. Yeah. If you really about your money, put a dollar in the air. If you really about your hustle, put a dollar in the air. You ain't taking else for nothing. Put a dollar in the air. You ain't got no hustle muscle. Get the fuck up out of hell.